Greetings ladies and gentlemen, it is I am the one and only Ray the Flying Squirrel here and welcome back for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos department. And here we are on the forms of a yet another let's play we're going to be doing for our channel, except now we're going to be traversing into the obscure Nokia N-Gate first came out in 2003, now as a result we are now tackling through Super Monkey Ball for the Nokia N-Gate. And as I said before, not only does the Nokia N-Gate first came out in 2003, 2003, which as it turns out it was flopped, but also is that Super Monkey Ball on the Nokia N-Gage also came out in 2003, and as a result, this game in particular plays pretty much like Super Monkey Ball Jr., but I'll explain more details about that particular topic until when we get to the actual gameplay. So, right from the get-go, is that much like in Super Monkey Ball Jr., is that you can able to play through beginner, advanced, expert, and master difficulty. But I'll explain more details about these different difficulties once we dive right in. So of course, much like the Forms of Fire does on Super Monkey Ball on a GameCube, alongside with Super Monkey Ball 2 and Super Monkey Ball Jr., you're able to once again able to play as four different playable characters. So for this particular playthrough, we'll go for these uh, four different characters in a chronological order when it comes to difficulty select, much like the Forms of Fire does on Super Monkey Ball Jr. And yeah, this is it. This is the entire gameplay of Super Monkey Ball on a Nokia and game. And believe it or not, this is basically a direct port to the likes of Super Monkey Ball Jr. for the Game Boy Advance. Despite the fact that this game first came out, as I said before, in 2003, which is about a year after not only Super Monkey Ball 2 came out, but also Super Monkey Ball Jr. as well. I mean, think about it, the entire level designs feels a bit identical to the forms of how it does it on Super Monkey Ball Jr., except the fact that the physics is completely off and the game can get a lot more quicker and faster, and not only that, uh, there's a lack of uh, view replay setting. And on top of all that stuff though, this is probably is the shortest Super Monkey Ball game ever made. Now I'm sure you might be able to actually realize from the start though, is that this game does have a little amount of levels. So because of this though, although some of these uh, level layouts are pretty much exactly like the console treatment, likely for instance with Super Monkey Ball 1, so basically what this means is about the fact that obviously if you can tell already, that the recording setup for this particular playthrough, it feels very similar to the forms of how it does it on Super Monkey Ball 3D for the 3DS back in during the forms of in 2020, if I recall correctly. So no matter what though, I was expecting to try to able to actually find the best capture footage for this, but I couldn't find it, mainly because it's a bit complicated, and on top of all that stuff though, I just don't want to let my uh, laptop to crash every time. So because of that, uh, unfortunately though, this is a, uh, the quality I can probably go for. So either way, so yeah, um, yeah, basically that's all I could really talk about in terms of the forms of Super Monkey Ball on a Nokia N-Gage. I mean, basically, you, in order to able to control the game, it's by the fact that, as you can tell, that the model we're going to be able to be using on for the Nokia N-Gage was actually the original model for the Nokia N-Gage. I know for a fact that a lot of people seem to be able to prefer uh, the QD version of it, just because no matter what though, for I've heard that the control panel feels a little bit smoother than the forms of how it does it on the original model, because I know for a fact that for one thing, that recording this particular setup is a lot harder than it looks, especially concerning for the fact that, not to mention though, that in addition, if you can tell already, that as you saw on the far right of the screen, that as you realize is that we're actually going to be able to be pressing certain number buttons. Although, to be more specifically than that, is that in order to able to actually just to take control of the monkey in a ball, is by utilizing the directional pad, much like the forms of how it does it in Super Monkey Ball Jr., although the noticeable difference is being, is that that is horribly stiff. So because of that, oh, in addition to that, there's also a speed up button, much like the forms of how it does on Super Monkey Ball Jr. And in order to do that, you have to press the five button. So yeah, it's kind of interesting, all things considered. So, ah, dang it, there goes my first fallout. So, and this is what I mean about the fact that the physics in this game is not exactly great, because as a result that sometimes not only the physics is slightly off, but it's also the frame rate too. And not only that, the soundtrack in this particular game is incredibly limited. So as a result, if you couldn't tell already, we're now going to be exploring into sky-high environments, and I almost assume for the fact that we can able to hear this amazing 
Super Monkey Ball soundtrack again. But nope, instead we actually got ourselves a limited soundtrack, which all I guess is just, well, let's just say, three songs in particular, which there are, the title screen, the main menu music, and, um, I actually kind of think about it, there's actually four soundtracks we can only listen to, which there are not only the title screen music, which I already mentioned this earlier, as well as the main menu music, and of course, certain stage themes, or stage songs for that particular, like, for instance, there's the jungle theme, as well as the bonus stage theme, and that was it. That's literally how you can able to actually hear most of the music during the course of Super Monkey Ball on the Nokia N-Gage. Now, some people seem to say that Super Monkey Ball on the Nokia N-Gage is widely considered this to be the weakest Super Monkey Ball games ever made, next to Super Monkey Ball Adventure, and even Super Monkey Ball 3D for the 3DS, which, as a result, usually, relatively speaking, though, is about the fact that, at least on the upside, for the, when it comes to the forms of uh, Super Monkey Ball 3D, is that it, at least it does have certain stages, as far as I'm concerned, Whilst in here though, the amount of stages you're only going to be exploring into is a grand total of 50 stages, which as a result, it definitely seems a lot smaller. Although, I will have to be quite frank here, is that unlike in Super Monkey Ball Adventure for the GameCube and PlayStation 2, uh, when it comes to both of those versions of the game in particular, well, relatively speaking, I was that that game does have a shortest amount of those uh, stages, like 49 stages. Unless if you ever purchase the PSP version, it does have some additional stages, thanks to the forms of the exclusive stages, which, yeah, we'll probably have to save that particular topic once we get to that game, so. So anyways, now we've actually done with beginner mode, if you can tell already, so now we're gonna be moving on to advanced difficulty, and as you can tell, we're not gonna be switching to, uh, Mimi this time. And also, if you couldn't tell already, is that a certain amount of stages do somehow manage to felt a little bit differently this time around though, because normally, in Super Monkey Ball on the GameCube, alongside with Super Monkey Ball 2, basically though, you only have to come across into 30 stages. What? the hell was that? I clipped for that tape! Oh, I honestly forgot about the stupid glitch. Not only that though, in addition with how the fact that the physics in this game is completely off, and also there's a quite a few glitches most of the time, which I know for a fact that sometimes, I swear to god, I was gonna able to try to break through that particular gold tape, but sometimes I clip for it, and as a result, it does not count as clear, which as a result, yeah, it's definitely a little bit of a buggier version of Super Monkey Ball Jr., that's for sure. Especially concerning for the fact that, I know for the fact that, like I said before, the soundtrack in this game is incredibly limited. So as a result, that, not only that, the jungle theme music you're going to be hearing in the background, that's going to loop a lot, by the way. Specifically, the first part of the song, which as a result, it starts to get a little bit repetitive after a while, which I almost assume for the fact that I can able to actually customize, you know, the entire proper soundtrack, but unfortunately though, it might be a bit too late for now. So because of that, also not to mention though, is that our laptop is about to go ahead and lag again, which it was pretty expected at this point, so... And also the frame rate is actually a lot worse too, which as a result, sometimes it drops for about 20 to about 6 most of the time. Especially that, uh, whenever we get to the later stages in the game, basically though, we will come across into a lot of frame rate problems. So, now if you probably want to know how many stages we we're able to actually come across into, for the sake of the forms of advanced difficulty, compared to the forms of how it does it on Super Monkey Ball 1, as well as Super Monkey Ball Jr. and Super Monkey Ball 2. Well, in Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2, they obviously contain 30 stages, plus, uh, let's just say 5 extra stages in Super Monkey Ball 1, to so make it a grand total of 35, and on top of that, with Super Monkey Ball 2, there was actually 10 extra stages for advanced difficulty from the likes of the forms of Super Monkey Ball 2, making it a grand total of 40 stages, and as far as I'm aware, in Super Monkey Ball Jr., does have 20 stages, and in addition to 3 extra stages as well, making a grand total of 23 stages in advanced difficulty setting in Super Monkey Ball Jr. In here though, they only contain 15 stages, so as a result, feels rather limited, all things considered. And not only that, unlike the previous games, that every time whenever you accomplish something, depending on what difficulty you select, 
Likely, for example, if you're trying to complete a beginner stage on Super Monkey Ball 1 without losing a single life, basically though you would be able to actually access to uh, extra stages. Whilst in here though, if you accomplish the forms of the entire difficulty setting, either on beginner or advanced, well, if you manage to be able to try to do these kind of difficulties without losing a single life, well, you get nothing, so instead, it takes you to a staff credits, and that's about it. So, this might actually be the only Super Monkey Ball game, at least specifically the classic entry in the series, that does not contain any of those extra stages at all. So, you know what that means, is that, in addition to that, certain level themes is also being completely lacked as well. Likely, for, for instance, is that I believe there was only a grand total of, like, quite a few environments we can able to go into. Like, there's gonna be the jungle environment, which we've already explored from before. As well as the forms of uh, Sky High, and also, Monkey Mall is gonna be appeared, so that's a pretty good choice as far as theming as far as I'm aware and in addition to that there's also going to be the underwater theme and also the desert and the strangest the strangest thing out of them all though is that the ice world is considered to be the final main environment for this entire game so now as a result there's only like uh three world environments is going to be absent in this game and that's what appears to be the storm temple as well as space colony or the space station and finally the banana century or specifically the banana sky temple or something like that so yeah it's pretty much you know like i said before this game is pretty much limited and not only that i feel like that this game is not very good especially concerning for the fact that i've already mentioned about the fact that the physics as well as the forms of the momentum just feels a bit off in this game so although the reason why i still managed to get this game to begin with alongside with the nokia engage is for bragging rights and also just to check this out especially concerning for the fact that after all i'm a diehard monkey fan as well so I'm considered to be biased I guess so and also much like the forms of how it doesn't on Super Monkey Ball Jr that if you collect about 50 bananas you would able to actually grant yourselves an extra life so yeah pretty much standard stuff to be fair but even then though, yeah, I will admit though, this music is getting really annoying in during the forms of the later stages to come. Especially, like I said before, the soundtrack is incredibly limited. So, now I'm pretty sure no matter what though, is potentially speaking though, that for whatever reason, is that the bonus stage uh, music always pops up for the likes of certain stages rather than onto the halfway point, or in some cases, or... It's hard to explain, really, because I know for a fact that, like I said before, it's been a very long time since I actually have last played this, because I'm pretty much used to with Super Monkey Ball Deluxe a lot, or even nowadays, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, because obviously, I've felt a lot of nostalgia memories for certain level uh, stage layouts and stuff like that for that nature, but that's just the way I feel about it, so either way, though. So... Yeah, not much else explanations when it comes to the forms of Super Monkey Ball on a Nokia N-Gage. I mean, sure, it does have some uh, party games for sure, or specifically the mini games in this game. Now, as a result, it did somehow manage to feature some recognizable ones. Like, for instance, there's Monkey Race, Monkey Fight, and Monkey Target. But in order to be able to unlock them, similar to the forms of how it does it on Super Monkey Ball 1, as well as Super Monkey Ball 2, and especially noticeable for Super Monkey Ball Jr., and that's about it basically. They need to grind this uh, party points in order to be able to unlock mini games, and not only that, much like the Advanced of how it does it on Super Monkey Ball 1, as well as Super Monkey Ball Jr., you can able to actually own certain continues. However, unlike in Super Monkey Ball Jr., they do have the option to be able to actually go for infinite of amount of continues. In here though, it only goes up to 10, and that's about it basically. So, and trust me while I say this, I did somehow play this game on my own time for a bit, just to try to able to practice the forms of the controls, as well as the momentum, and how the game plays out to be, and relatively speaking, oh, there's not much else explanations for the sake of time, so, yeah, let me know in the comments down below for the question of the day, um, have you guys ever experienced Super Monkey Ball on a Nokia N-Gate, because the first time I actually experienced this game was back in 2021, just before when Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania has been announced. So, and also just for a sake of the forms of the Super Monkey Ball game collection, as far as I might add. So, yeah, 
Oh, that's weird. The spiky level is considered to be the, the final floor in advanced difficulty, but still, it's incredibly weird. And also, I found it was a little bit weird is that certain voice clips, like Floor Cleared, uh, is actually existence on this point. So, because it was originally going to be existence on the uh, the console version of Super Monkey Ball 1, but it was completely scrapped or something. So, with that being said, yeah, let's go ahead and type my name, because apparently I'm in second place. So, yeah, with that being said, I think we should probably be ending up this point right here, so join me next time. For more Let's Play of Super Monkey Ball on the Nokia N-Gage, it's now straight to the point. We're actually going to be finishing up the entire game by going through expert and master difficulties. So wish me luck, I suppose. So I'll see you guys until on Wednesday. Later, fellas.